welcome everybody. We're getting started again here. We're just going to actually um, look at a few items we have. We're going to contour draw. Um, let's practice. Let's have a good time. Uh, practicing drawing skills is something that it kind of goes slow um, in the beginning. And then as you keep practicing, uh, it becomes easier to see lines and uh, uh, shapes, curves, angles it's a lot easier to see scale so you know sometimes when you're drawing um in the beginning it's a little difficult with scale things like that you know if you're looking at something and you think something is um maybe larger than the other so like here the lemon you can kind of see is about half the size of a pepper but it's a it's more you know round and spherical and the, and the pepper is more like tubular like a tube so scale is important to kind of see. This is this lemon actually is probably three times the width of the pepper. So the pepper is about. Let's maybe take a look here, and we can use our pen as a a guide, and we can say, okay, if I put my thumb there on the pen, and then I look at the lemon, and I say one, two, three. Yeah, so. This is about three times the width or the height of the pepper, uh, but it's about twice as long. The pepper is twice as long as the um, the uh, lemon. So if we take the lemon and we hold our pen like this and we hold the pen with our hand right here and we use our thumb to hold our space on the pen where the end of the lemon is and then we come down here and say, okay, there's the pepper. And then we hold our finger here, and we go over this way, and we go, okay, yeah, the, the lemon is half the length of the, the pepper. So it's always good to keep an eye on your scale as you're drawing. Keep, you know, keep th thinking about scale, size, um, and, and it all comes more easier as you're, as you're practicing more. So that's why now we're going to do a little more contour drawing on this channel so that we can kind of incorporate that into our watercolor painting. Sometimes... It, there are video or, you know, there's videos that I've done before many times where you don't really have to paint. You could probably just go ahead and start or you could you don't have to draw. You can just actually go in and start painting. But I want everyone here on my channel. I want everyone to get better at drawing and drawing their drawing skills to improve. So this is how we do it. We just practice it a little bit every time. So if I do one or two videos now every week, let's say, let's try them. Um, doesn't have to be perfect. You just have fun with it. Don't stress over it. Just try to accomplish a couple drawings uh, a week. If I do two a week, two drawings a week, try doing the two drawings. If I do one, try doing one. And if you want to do more on your own, that's fine too. But at least we'll try a couple here on my channel or one or two a week so that you kind of just get into that familiar process of just picking some paper up. I have just printer paper from the office, office printer paper. I tape it down to my board here. I have a... Um, an eraser because my board's on an angle so if I let the eraser move the eraser away everything slides off because it's and these are these are um, styrofoam and plastic uh, pepper and lemon so I bought these these are really great they they look very real actually I've tried to find the, the most realistic type uh, items I could find with fruits and, and vegetables and things like that when I when I bought these online. So we're going to set these across from us and again we're going to remember the idea of we're going to paint two-dimensionally. We're not going to get into the three-dimensional paint or drawing right now. Let's do two-dimensional. Let's We'll just draw a line across the page. I'm going to set this up across from me on top of a box. I have a, um, a regular uh, box you would find any normal item that you buy from the store in and I just set it up on my table. And I put these on top of the box. And I actually put a white foam board on top in an L shape. Like this. So if you can imagine, I have an L shape large. This is small. This is a small version of what I have across from me in the studio. So this basically says two foam boards uh, taped together in an L fashion. And then I have that sitting across from me, but larger. This is just a small scale of what I have over across from me on top of a box so that the level of my foam board with my lemon and my pepper is at eye level. So when I look across at it, I'm not seeing 
I'm seeing this. I'm seeing an exact level like this. I'm not seeing a three-dimensional, like on a flat surface like this. I'm taking my foam board, putting it up on a box high up, so that when I'm looking at it, I'm actually looking at it like this, so that my lemon and my pepper is actually just two-dimensional. So it's just like this. So I can just see the top of the table, the foam board table like this, and the lemon like that. So let's do that. I'm putting it across from me. And we're going to draw this. And if you want, uh, feel free, feel free to do a pencil, light pencil uh, contour draw. You know, you can use a preliminary uh, pencil drawing first so that you kind of get the feel for it. We'll do that here. So I'll take my uh, ruler here. I'll just make a line across my page with my pen. And it's about one third, one third uh, up from the bottom. I make a line. I pretend that that's my foam board right there. So that's my foam board there. And then I have a box underneath it like this. So that's my foam board and there's foam. the background is, is also a white foam board. And let's start. Let's do a preliminary sketch just to get a feel for what we're looking at here. So I'm going to start out here. Okay, that's the pepper. We're starting out with the pepper over here, like that, and we go across. Like that, and the pepper has got a little bit of a, like this. And I notice that this is a little less, a little less of an oval on top. So it's more like that. So that's just a light contour drawing. So we have a, a starting point with our pencil. And then we're going to do the lemon over here. So the lemon is here. It starts there. It's a little bit intersecting with the tip of the pepper and we're coming up here and then we have the stem portion of the lemon and I'm trying to really be careful and follow and go slow with the and already I see I might be the lemons a little larger so I just do a quick erase no big deal The lemon we said was about three times the height of the pepper. One, two, three, approximately. You could even do this and say, okay, one. So that's one there. One, two, three. Good. Then we could just do a very light line across there and say that's where the top of our lemon should be. So let's go there and say, all right, there we go. And the lemon goes this way, and then like that. Okay, so we did a light preliminary sketch with our pencil. We did our lemon, our pepper. We used our scale that we talked about, keeping a, uh, you know, keeping a, a keen awareness of how big, how high is this lemon compared to the pepper? Well, we said the pepper is one third the size height of the lemon, so we just went one, two, three. You know, we scaled it like this with our one, two, three. 
and then we put our line there and then we go across super lightly just enough so we can see that we need to be there landing there with our lemon up top and then we have it and the lemon is approximately twice the length of the pepper or half the length of the pepper so you have the lemon is here now that should be about half one and and two close and actually in reality it is a little bit a little bit less if I uh, one one two yeah this is a little bit not quite double the length of the lemon the pepper so we're, we're about good there all right so now we have our light preliminary sketch with our pencil done let's go over that with pen and this gives us even more practicing let's go over it with the pen and we'll just practice our contour drawing where we start in one place and we just go around and we come around this way there and I just keep looking over you could trace this if you want once you do your pencil drawing you could trace over it but I'm trying to look across from me okay and that's the pepper and then we're gonna go here and we're gonna start doing our lemon here like that there we go now we have our drawing completed and if we were preparing this for a watercolor painting we would just skip the pen part and just do the pencil drawing and then we could begin painting after this but that's how the drawing uh, portion of um, contour drawing is all uh, prepared where we scale things try to get things scaled you know in proper proportions so that we don't have a a tiny uh, pepper and a giant lemon like that we have to have the correct proportions of things the scale of things uh, and you could also have fun with this and do this uh, in ink you could do like an ink and wash where instead of doing pen here you can do pencil first take your time scale things make sure everything is good scale things then you could go over and you could do some uh, you know some ink and wash and if uh, you can always go back and check out some of my ink and washes this is a perfect time to mention that on my channel we do watercolors ink and wash we do pencil drawings, sketches, and we do all types of subject matter. So uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell as well uh, underneath next to the uh, subscribe button. This way every week you get new videos. And also you can go back into my archives. If you subscribe to my channel, you can go back and you'll see that I've done a lot of ink and wash. If you just type in ink and wash Chris Petrie, my name, plus ink and wash, you'll see I have probably 10 to 20 videos on ink and wash and they're, that's a lot of fun too and I just mentioned that because that's actually a fun way to um, enhance this type of a drawing you could take this drawing do it in pencil first and then use ink and wash where you would take some ink with an ink pen and go through this drawing with ink and then when it dries you can go through and put some uh, watercolor wash over the top and it really looks great Okay, so hope everyone is going to try this drawing out of the pepper. And you know what? If you're just totally crazy about watercolor and you have to do some watercolor painting, this is printer paper, but you can still add some add some uh, paint to it. So let's just do that for fun. I know some of you just you can't wait to use your paints. So I have a little bit of mold in the paints here. It's been a week since I painted, so there's some mold in there. No big deal. So we could just put our palette down here. So I have my palette, my normal palette. I use 
We'll zoom out a little bit. And we'll just put our, our palette there. And we'll just grab a brush, a round watercolor brush, and we'll just do some. And I'm just going to look up at my, uh, I'm using uh, just sap green, olive green, a little bit of chromium oxide. And we're just going to have some fun here. A little bit of cobalt blue maybe for some darker blue. So this is where have some fun if you want to. And then I added some cadmium lemon yellow to the to the green. And remember when you paint on watercolor, uh, regular printer paper, it acts totally different than watercolor paper. You almost just, whatever you're putting down onto the paper, it immediately dries almost. And so you really don't have a lot of time to um, work with your washes. You almost, but... pepper. And again, I know everyone wants to do some watercolor painting. So let's leave a highlight here. White paper. Cadmium lemon yellow all the way through the whole entire lemon. There we go. Some blue for the underside for the shadowing. Also some Yellow ochre. And I'm just looking at the shadowing over here. It's in shadow on this side. The lemon. splash here and there just to make things exciting. A little cerulean blue under here. Maybe there's a little shadow under there. But this is printer paper so you're not going to get a great watercolor effect. But printer paper is fun to paint on too. So that's the box. Get out a little bit of brown. So this is the box underneath. I'll just do a little bit of wash there. Just have some fun. That's all. Have fun with your paintings. and your drawings, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for coming by again, thanks for subscribing, and uh, more videos to come, thanks everyone. We'll see you soon.